<laughs> Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Hope everybody enjoyed your dinner. Now, I'm sure everyone is totally aware of the fact that just a few weeks ago, the beloved David Letterman uh, broadcast his last show, which of course means that uh, one of the best bits on television is dead, so we thought we would revive it with the David Letterman Top 10. And I also, also for, you know, years now, have wanted to co-anchor with Lisa, Aww, so here we are. That's sweet. <laughs> Let's see, there's a lot of mergers in this industry, but somehow Belle and Shaw, I don't know. You never know. You never, never know. say never. Anyway, we are here to present the Top 10 Positive Signs for Journalism in Canada. Number 10. It's been months since one of us was arrested. <laughs> but the night is young. <laughs> Number nine, Ezra Levant cannot legally broadcast from Alberta Stan. Number eight, Tom Clark's side business as a Shatner impersonator <laughs> is really taking off. <laughs> Number seven, we all dodge that bullet of getting hired to coach the Leafs. Yeah, that 50 million would be a real burden, wouldn't it? <laughs> number, the number six positive sign for journalism in Canada, newspaper subscriptions now legally qualify as a charitable donation. Aww. <laughs> now that's just mean. Number five, the television consortium is just one leader away from hosting a pretty good election debate. Justin, just say yes. Number four, a typical journalist now gets 60% of his or her calories from the cake served at goodbye parties. Mm, mm, Donna, really? Mm. Okay, well, we're gonna revive that one with number three. David Walmsley just poached three more reporters during the salad course. You know who you are. <laughs> number two, journalism schools have adapted to ensure their broadcast graduates have the skills required to read tweets on the air. <laughs> From a Blackberry. Even better, that's my nod to Jackie McNish and congratulations on her fabulous new book. Anyway, the number one sign, positive sign for journalism in Canada. Despite what John Cruikshank said tonight, it's still possible this whole internet thing is a fad. 